And what's resting right here? You see that? What is that? We've been talking about it all morning, right? What is that? What's that PV array called? Volume imbalance. That should be on your chart. I believe that we'll probably see S&Ps traded to between now and 8.30 on Friday. Now, what does that mean? Is that an invitation for you to trade? No, it's an invitation for you to study. It might not do it. It might not trade there. It could just fall out of bed and never go there this week or the rest of the year. I'm saying that because we have a fair value gap between this candle's low and this candle's high, but we have a volume imbalance. So your entire range shaded there should be this. That's how you should have it on your chart. Because you can't ignore a volume imbalance if it's part of or what would be part of a volume, I'm sorry, fair value gap. So if there ever is a, a separation between two candles that would otherwise be like this, this would be a normal fair value gap, right? You would expect that. But I taught you that you have to use the volume imbalance in concert with that fair value gap because that's the range they're going to use. Because if you don't do that, you won't have the real consequent encroachment. You won't have the real halfway point. You won't have the real upper and lower quadrant levels. See the importance of that? 